Right. Now this is a uh, Lefisa's Okay. Right. Here. This is Lefisa Malipetsana. She is from Lesotho and we are correcting her paper. Okay. See how systematic she is. She has done everything which is required. First one is submission. She has submitted the letter. She is a very sincere and obedient student. This is her letter, which she submitted. Okay. Now you can see here, edit, take a snapshot, select all. Okay. Copy selected. So this is the letter which she has written first. Then, okay. Select all. Copy selected. Yes. This is the letter which she submitted. Number one. Number two, this is manuscript. This is manuscript. So every one of you, all the regular students, remember this. You have to submit like this only. So submission manuscript. The next one is she has typed it very, very uh, you know, um, responsible. When I told her submit, just submitted. So this is typed version. Typed version. So this is the typed version here. Now, yeah, this is the typed version. Right. You can see here. She has typed everything. Okay. All right. Then right. I have posted it here. Fine. So that is the typed version. Very good. So both of the things are there. Next one.
This is the case notes. Case notes. Case notes is here, which we have seen just now. <coughs> Evelyn Brown. This is page number one. Edit, take a snapshot, select all, copy selected graphic. This page. Then next one, this is select all, copy selected graphic. And this is the, yes, case notes. So having done these things, now we are going for collection. So very good, Lefisa. You can do like this only every time. And every day you will get the letter correction, um, you know, because you are following all my suggestions. Okay. You will get both the rounds. Now let us see here. This is the, yeah, case notes. Now, this is related to the address. Address is here. Right. So address is here, you can see. Uh, using the information in the case notes, write a letter of discharge. So this is a discharge letter. This is a discharge letter. Very important thing you have to notice. This is a discharge letter. Fine. This is a discharge letter. And you are writing to Miss Jennifer Smith. Very good. All the other students just follow how I'm showing you. Miss Jennifer Smith. This is number one, line number one. Okay. So take a uh, light. Uh, uh, the, uh, the picture is dark. So next time you can take light. Uh, in the light okay good light and take the adobe i have sent you the links for taking photos so this is the link for sending photos okay this is the link for sending the photos this is the link for sending the photos i'm going to show you now um, okay now grand gallery. So here in the grand gallery, you can check there. What is that? Uh, uh, lens. Microsoft lens. I have sent you earlier. I'm searching for that one so I can send you. So yes, lens. Uh, here it is. Okay. These are the software you can use. Use the following applications forward message. So, two, three. I'm sending you the links. Okay. So, you can scan and you can send it to me. This is, these are the links. So, Grand Gallery. Once again, I'm sending you. Take pictures with this. It will be very nice. The okay, pictures will be very nice. So, always try to take from me. So, first line is. Uh, let us see. Yes, Miss Jennifer Smith. Right. Miss Jennifer Smith. This is right, but you have a little problem. J is not clear. Then N N I F little clearly you write. This is looking like R or V, little B clear. Jennifer Smith T. You take an eraser and rub it. Erase it clearly and write it. Looks odd, not very neat. Then nurse in charge, you have written. Nurse in charge should be hyphenated like this. There should be hyphen. Nurse hyphen in hyphen charge. Like this one, it should be. So nurse in charge. Okay. Nurse in charge. It should be like this. Yeah, nurse in charge. Right. There was a mistake I corrected. There was a dash by mistake. So I corrected that nursing charge should be like this. 
but you have made a mistake here. Nurse in charge should be written with a hyphen as it is. How is it is there in the question paper? So write like that only. Don't write your own copy text, your own spelling. Okay. Right. Like this only you have to write. You cannot write in whichever way you want. Hyphen should be there. This hyphen is important. This hyphen is important. So both are mistakes. So it is a mistake. Nurse in charge. Then next one is grant grant transition care home. That is the name of the care home. Grant transition care home. So grant transition care home. This is right. But you have a problem with certain things. Here R is not very clear. It is messed up. Grant. Okay, R you have to little be careful with R. Okay, next one. Grant transition. Again here R and A mixed together. Transition. Okay, care home. H capital letter. It should be very clear. H should be very clear. You have to write in a clear manner. You cannot... Um, okay, confuse. So this H is not clear. So try to improve that. Next one. Next one is 42 Greenwell Avenue. 42 Greenwell Avenue. Okay. 42 Greenwell Avenue. A V E N U E. Right. Fine. Then next one is leads. Okay. So that is leads. Here L should be capital letter and you confused here. I don't understand what type of letter this is. So you have to write clearly. Okay. Right. Uh, Mef, uh, Lefisa. Hello, Lefisa. Hello, sir. Yeah, what you have to do is whatever I'm telling you, underline, mark, and change in your hand in your uh, copy. Okay. Okay, sir. And afterwards, you have to send it in the WhatsApp group, uh, Grand Gallery. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, because uh, paper only you have. Others will learn from these things. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, next one, 23 January 2018. Yeah. So, 23 January 2018. Okay. Here, January is looking like a, uh, not very clear. John, you, you joined A separated and then way. If you want to write all mix, right? Otherwise, all separate you write your wish. So, don't uh, mix up this one. So, this is looking like N for me. Okay, R and Y together you have joined. It's a little confusing because, okay, clarity is required. Either write uh, cursive writing or write separate writing, whichever pleases you. But all of them, see, J separated, A and U together. A and U together. And A separated and again N, Y together. I don't know why this A is separated in between. So it gives a you know, confused uh, uh, vision. So write one together. Right, cursive writing or separate. Only one format you can use, not both. Next one, dear Mrs. Smith. Okay, dear Mrs. Smith. Right, absolutely right. And this M should be capital letter. That means a little bigger. Dear Miss M should be same size of D and S. This M is looking like, okay, capital letter you have to write. Capital letter means you have to write the same size of D and S. See, D and S are up. But uh, you can see M is small. So like that, and avoid that height should be same of all the capital letters. Next one, regarding Mrs. Evelyn Brown. E is little confusing, right? Very clearly. E is last uh, bottom line is bent and curved. So be clear, it should be three same lines. Okay, so, uh, okay fine. Evelyn Brown, date of birth, 9 August. 1939. Okay, fine. Right. Uh, date of birth between you need not put full stops. It's okay because capital letters, all capital letters, if you put that is understood as date of birth. So no need. Next one. Uh, okay. 
is her age given here let us check if age is given you can use the age directly okay uh, okay evelyn brown date of birth is given right okay fine no need to worry now okay now next one uh yeah and date of birth is done so this is important information so next one is here uh evelyn brown and mrs evelyn brown okay we can take those two things and date of birth as it is you can write but here you have to write august you have to change it into august eight number you have to change it into august okay fine next step um everything is done okay okay date discharge date okay fine let us see the discharge date so you are writing this one okay okay fine uh doctor's review okay so that is the last one and so that is the discharge date okay fine okay and uh, where the patient will be admitted until recovery i used the okay case notes okay following surgery okay fine letter of discharge mm. okay right next now i have to reduce the size okay uh, mrs brown here you have to put a comma mrs brown comma who has bilateral where is the dot on the i bilateral e is looking like c bilateral right knee osteoarthritis okay is being transferred into is one word into is one word into into your care for ongoing treatment and management so so here you are writing transferred why are you writing the word transferred it is a discharge letter so why are you writing the word transferred okay so you know that in the case notes he told you it is a discharge letter this is a very big discharge letter it's very clear it is for you so discharge letter so why did you write the word transfer so that is problem is being discharged into your care you can say okay so that is the problem following his discharge into your care fine now mrs brown comma you can write like this mrs brown comma who has bilateral right knee osteoarthritis comma requires ongoing treatment and management is it ongoing treatment and management to whom you are writing that is important okay you are writing to miss jennifer smith nurse in charge okay right so outlining ongoing treatment not for treatment you are outlining ongoing treatment and management following surgery okay after surgery what is to be done fine so requires um who, uh, okay mrs brown comma who has bilateral right knee osteoarthritis no who has who underwent surgery you can write because surgery is already done that is more important than osteoarthritis surgery is done so following surgery so this should go into the purpose who underwent surgery for something so that you write that is more important so you got good score but this is the best score you will get if you say following surgery following surgery so that is more important so who underwent surgery so that you can write okay fine uh, then next one requires um requires ongoing treatment and appropriate management following his discharge into your care okay following his discharge following the discharge into your care so this is how you can write now let us see here okay 
uh, right um, okay anyhow we are going to write in the second round of correction so we'll do that one in the second round okay for ongoing treatment and management in 2003 here comma should be after comma space is required after comma space is required so here i'll talk about presentation i capital letter a little bigger touch the line why are you well, fly, making the words fly in the sky uh, in 2003 comma mrs brown was slightly obese and has in 2003 how you can say has okay you cannot say has because it is 2003 you have to say had had mild uh, genuorum with palpable crepitus as well as and Antalgic gait. Uh, okay. Therefore, after therefore, you have to put a comma. After therefore, you have to put a comma. She was diagnosed with moderate bilateral right knee osteoarthritis. She was treated with a knee unloader brace, physiotherapy, naproxen twice daily, and acetaminophen three times daily. Three times you can join into one word called thrice daily. Okay, in 2006, here you have to give space. Brown was admitted with severe right knee effusion and she was therefore treated with articular steroid injections for three months and naproxen 500 mg two times. Two times can be written as twice per day. Per day can be written as daily. So two times per day, you can write twice daily. So four words can be transformed into two words. On the 21st January, comma, she presented with severe pain. She presented again. She presented again with severe pain. Why is S big here? It should be same size. Why capital letter here? See how much up it went. I hope you understand that it is a capital letter now. So be careful. Severe pain in the right knee. In the right knee. In the right knee. Uh, comma, which worsens. Pain, okay, pain in the right knee, severe pain in the right knee or severe right knee pain, you can say severe right knee pain, finished, pain in the right knee instead of five words, right pain knee, right knee pain, which worsens, here you have to put a comma, here you have to put a comma, which worsens, uh, present, which worsens with uh, mobility, despite the use of the use of uh, for a four leg the use of a four leg walking stick she was infected with a hyaluronic acid for lubrica lubrication and admitted what is this uh, admitted not clear right clearly okay admitted for assessment and observation observation e is looking like c so little confusion V is, uh, okay, so write very clearly. Observation, full stop. After full stop, there should be space. On examination, post-op, on examination, comma, post-operatively, there was bruising and fluid accumulation. So on examination, uh, post-operatively. So you can say, uh, on post-operative examination, you can say, Post-operatively, comma, on examination, you can say. Otherwise, or on post-operative examination, you can say. Right. So, on examination, comma, post-operatively, there was bruising and fluid accumulation in the right knee and reported severe pain. Okay, fine. And reported, same. Okay. There was and reported severe pain. Who reported this a confusion here? Okay. That we'll do in the second round. In the... Uh, word format will do that one. So all these things and dash reported severe pain. So somebody, the person reported severe pain. Who is the person? Uh, Miss Mrs. Brown. So like that one here, there was bruising. That is different and this is different. So either write the name of the person or just put use passive voice instead. Okay. Mrs. Brown was given tramadol 50 mg four times a day, four times per day. Today, after full stop, space should be there. Today, on review, on today, in uh, during today's review, you can say, okay, during today's review or on review today, okay, uh, today, comma. Otherwise, you can say today, comma, 
on review, during review, during the review, during examination or something, bruising and fluid subsided was uh, subsid uh, okay, uh, reduction or mi uh, minimized bruising and fluid was observed, you can say. She is ready to go home with a walking stick, a walking stick as backup. Backup should be one word with hyphen. Backup, one second. Mm, backup. So if you have any doubt, just to go here. Back. B A C K. Backup. See here, backup. Backup. So here, backup is a phrasal verb. So it should be written like this backup. Fine, that's correct. So backup is a phrasal verb. Okay. Uh, stick as backup. One minute. This is different way you have written. Okay. That is phrasal verb backup. As backup, backup is noun you have used, noun form. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. It's okay. Next one, as backup. Uh, she should ease load to on, on the knees. On the knees, body part you have to use. The, on the knees. Yeah, Amelia, coming. I'm coming. On the knees. I'll, I'll give you a question answer session, then you can ask. She should ease. See, this is messed up spelling. S and H is mixed up. On the knees by not using uh, not using stairs uh, and squatting and has to lose weight. She should use raised toilet seat raised toilet seat clear clarity is missing raised toilet seat and continue with the tramadol dd or dol i don't know and acetaminophen as prescribed okay she is scheduled after full stop space is required she is scheduled for physiotherapy in two weeks injections on january 28 and february 4 and general practitioner in months time injections two weeks Injections on January 28 and February 4, and general practitioner in months, a month's time, uh, a month's apostrophe S, yes. in a month, apostrophe S, yes, month's time. Okay. Uh, she, okay. She is scheduled for physiotherapy in two weeks, comma. Injections on January 28 and February. Okay, for injections on January 28 and February 4, and scheduled uh, an appointment, not end general practitioner, an appointment with an appointment, an appointment for general practitioner in a month's time, a month apostrophe S, yes, a month's time. With the above mentioned, uh, you can say based on the above mentioned circumstances, Based on the above mentioned circumstance, above mentioned is one word, above mentioned circumstances, it is looking like capital H. It is looking like capital H. Clarity is missing. So you lose this mark. You'll be penalized for this. Uh, okay, if they don't understand you, it would be appropriate. It would be appropriate if you provide. It would be appropriate is not suitable. It would be beneficial. Okay, if you provide appropriate treatment, like that is better. It would be appropriate is not fine. Uh, um, ongoing management post-surgery would be extremely beneficial. Write that, you can write. Okay, anyhow, we are going to correct this one. What happened to the mouse? Okay. Okay, right. Uh, let us see here. 
the sentence change the sentence this is approved it would be appropriate is not fine here it would be beneficial would be better okay it would be beneficial if you provide okay ongoing management post surgery the sentence would be can be changed if you have any queries r and i is confusing okay u and e is becoming w so be clear very neatly you write okay uh, please do not hesitate to contact me where is the dot on the i hesitate uh, contact me then yours sincerely yours sincerely so you are writing to um, dr uh, dear miss smith okay then next uh, nurse which nurse which nurse are you you are a nurse at st james hospital yeah attending to this patient attending this patient why to i don't know who wrote this case notes but there is a mistake here who is ready to be discharged okay has attending this patient not no need to here okay we'll correct this one now itself so there is a mistake in this case notes okay attend uh, nurse at st james also attending this patient no need to okay attending this patient okay who is ready to be discharged patient comma patient comma who is comma who is ready to be discharged okay uh, fine st john's hospital so nurse okay right nurse st james hospital okay st james hospital very good so yeah lefisa is that clear to you yes sir yeah right fine very good now we are going to uh okay this is round 1 five 7 Okay, this is feedback. Okay, fine. This is done. File export to JPEG image. So first round is done. First round is completed. So second round I am going to give you now. So this is first round is completed, and this is okay. this is personalized feedback round 1 okay personalized feedback around one okay so now here yeah so these are the i already put it there okay so you don't no need to ask me you can check it from here i put it in the i put in the telegram channel so this is the link there your number is just type 1124 go to telegram channel classical corrections and just type 1124 your this thing will come on the left side is that clear yes sir so this is the way then you go inside and you'll find everything here okay so okay. otherwise you can write your name also uh, lefisa l e f i s a lefisa and all your things will come here okay okay sir uh, and lefisa and another word brown you write this letter will come So this is shortcut. You can see here on the left side it will come. Lefisa Brown means Lefisa is your name. Brown is the case name, right? Just if you type like that, only that one will come. So whatever you want, you can search like this in the Telegram channel. Okay. So I have created in such a way that it will be very beneficial for you. Now next one, we are going to them. Uh, okay, all of you should send like this one. So two rounds together, I'll give you now because. i have i have trained the assistant to take all your speakings i'll give you speaking correction and writing correction like this and if you listen to me and if you follow all these things i'll give you on a regular basis every day okay it will be very easy for me right next one is uh yeah uh yes so doubts question answers afterwards 
so after the correction any doubts are there i will ask you okay then you can discuss okay now let us see here uh, this is done finished so next we have the yeah this is the letter okay fine now okay so this is 1124 right uh, now what i have to do is qq this pc okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay corrections 1001 this is sandra number 1 submission correction yeah yes okay now we are going to do the second round of correction like this file save as pc then go to corrections okay right Okay. Corrections. Okay. Corrections. Yes, one thousand fifteen twenty four, and this is. Q Q one thousand one hundred twenty four, and this is uh, okay. Right, uh, Mrs. Evelyn Brown, E V E L Y M Evelyn Brown, space. Then next one is um, the name is. Yeah, what was the problem here? Okay. Um, okay, bilateral posterior arthritis in the right knee. Okay, so here it is. Okay, in the right knee space, then name of the candidate. Okay, and this is Lefisa. Okay, fine. Left is okay. Control A, Control C. Okay. Yes. Out. So Evelyn Brown, bilateral osteoarthritis. I'll reduce this one. Okay. Submission. You can save it by bilateral osteoarthritis. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, Telegram channel, Lefisa. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Now, how many words from here will come? One, paragraph number one, paragraph number two, paragraph number three, paragraph number four, paragraph number five. Paragraph number six. Okay, this last one will not be counted. So it is 247 words, Lefisa. It is too much. It is too much. You have to minimize 247 words. So 247 words. Okay. 247 words. 247 words. Right. Right. Okay, Lefisa, are you ready? 
Hello, are you there? Hello, hello, Lefisa, are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. Oh, okay, fine, fine. Okay, right. I'm muting you back. Just see how I'm correcting. And nobody write anything in the chat now because it will be distracting others. Please don't write anything now. Okay. What I'm going to do is so that you can see very clearly, I'm increasing the font to 24. So that you can see everything clearly. Yeah. So that you can see everything clearly. Okay, fine. Right, now coming to the point. Yes. So, so Mrs. Evelyn Brown, bilateral osteoarthritis, nursing, let me say I'm not Sunny, okay. And then 257 words, it is word count is more. Now review. So when you're submitting before only check your spelling and everything. Okay. Starting the review. Right. Uh, Miss Jennifer Smith, nurse in charge. This is hyphenated. It should be hyphen. N U R S E hyphen I N hyphen. C H A R G, nurse in charge, like this you have to write. Then grant a transition care home, 42 Greenwell Avenue, Leeds, right. 23 January 2000, right. Dear Miss Smith, okay. You can put a comma or you leave a comma, no problem. Regarding Mrs. Evelyn Brown, date of birth, here there's a mistake. Colon should be there. 9 August 1939. Mrs. Brown, comma, who has bilateral right knee osteoarthritis comma okay uh, comma uh, is being transferred into your care into is one word into is one word into your care for ongoing care and management already you are writing care and uh, you are writing again here care why are you duplicating this word Okay, ongoing care and management. So here you can change this word into ongoing. Uh, okay, something else you can write into your facility. Otherwise, you can write here it, into your facility. Into your facility, F S E I L I T Y facility for ongoing care and management. This is how you can write. Okay. Mrs. Brown, who has bilateral right knee osteoarthritis, is being transferred. So who is who has bilateral? This is put in between commas. Remember that. Is being transferred into your care, into your facility for ongoing care and management. Ongoing care. And you can use one more word, appropriate management. Right, fine. That would be better. Ongoing care and appropriate management or regular supervision and appropriate management. Okay, on regular supervision, instead of ongoing care, you can say regular supervision, okay, regular observation, regular monitoring or something like that also you can use. In 2003, Mrs. Brown was slightly obese and had mild genuvarum with uh, palpable crepitus as well as analgic, antalgic gait, okay. So you are joining these two sentences, okay? So here you have to put a comma and say, and therefore, comma, like this you have to write. Otherwise put full stop and write capital letter, therefore. So it's becoming too long, okay? So otherwise you can put like this, full stop and here's capital letter, therefore. She was diagnosed with moderate bilateral right knee osteoarthritis okay then next one she was treated with knee unloader balance 
Okay, she was avoid using she, 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 like. So here also you can remove she. Remove she as far as possible. She was remove. Okay. Now diagnosed also remove. With also remove. Moderate, therefore, moderate bilateral right knee osteoarthritis was diagnosed. Finished. Passive voice. Passive voice. She was diagnosed also is passive voice. But why do you want to use one second? Hello, Lefisa. Hello, Lefisa. Okay. Right. So, therefore, moderate bilateral right knee osteoarthritis was diagnosed. So, don't use she as far as possible. Then she was treated with. Okay, she was treated with. Why do you want to write she was treated with? So, treatment with knee unloader base. Treatment with knee unloader ba uh, base. Physiotherapy. Naproxen twice daily. And astomen fine thrice daily. Was provided. Treatment was provided. With, that is the meaning. Treatment with knee unloader brace okay or if you want if you have any doubt you can also write like this treatment sorry treated with no treatment with treatment okay what happened okay treatment treatment with sorry this also will go here treatment with the knee and treatment was provided with treatment was provided with knee unloader brace physiotherapy naproxen twice daily and acetamine fine three times daily three times can be written as thrice three times anyone can use okay you can use thrice why don't you use thrice that is correct only i'm not saying it is wrong thrice daily that is better Okay, fine. In 2006, Mrs. Brown was admitted with severe right knee effusion and was treated uh, and was treated with articular steroid injections for three months. And and here you can say and uh, treated with again treated with. So you are using the same words again and again. So avoid and articular steroid injections for three months and approximation. Naproxen 500 mg twice, or two times, you can no, say no, no, no. twice per day, daily. Okay. Uh, were prescribed. Okay. Arterial steroid injection were prescribed. Finished. Okay. Like that, you can write here. Uh, Mr. Sadikar Rahman, I will tell you that is that is good only, but it's good, better. What she has written is better. She was treated. She was treated. Every time you need not take the person's name or pronounce name even when it can be avoided. Okay, I'll tell you later. Wait, please. On the 21st January, when you write a 21st, you have to say off. 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 21st of January, you have to say. Otherwise, you have to say on 21 January, on 21 January or the 21st of January. Okay, these are called, okay, uh, um, yeah, ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers, ordinal means order. Whenever you use order 21, ST will come and off will be there. Okay, January, she presented with severe pain in the right knee, severe pain in the right knee, uh, comma, which worsens with mobility despite uh, the use of despite the use of a four leg walking stick she was injected with she was injected with so you can say inject uh, okay hydraulic acid for lubrication was injected you can say 
Why do you want to write? She was, she was, she was, she was. It is becoming very, uh, you know, low quality. Very low quality. When uh, everyone knows that she only, not he. So why should we write that when only one patient is there? It is right. It is right. It is definitely better, but it is not the best. If you want to best, learn the best. Okay. Anyone can write like that. This is anyone can write. You are not uh, any Tom, Dick and Harry. You are some special person. So try to use quality. Quality is important. Okay. Quality is very important. Quality. We are instilling quality into writing. So uh, hydraulic acid injection was given, was provided. Okay. Hydraulic acid injection. Injection. Uh, hydraulic acid injection. Sorry. Okay. Hydraulic acid injection was provided, was given. She was injected. So, hydraulic acid was injected. You can say otherwise. Hydraulic acid was injected. Same thing you can use. Why should you use she when it is avoidable? When you can remove she, why do you want to still use the she? Do you want to be ordinary? Use. If you want to use be special, don't use. Hydraulic, hydro, high, hyaluronic acid was injected for lubrication. We understand that's very clear. That's very clear. Why do you want to use she again and again? Okay. If anybody wants to use them, you can use. You are free to use. But you will get B grade. But if you write like this, you will get B plus and A grade. So that is called quality. Variety is the spice of life. Hyaluronic acid was injected for lubrication and, uh, uh, and okay, fine. And admitted for assessment. Okay. Um, and So admitted, so you can make it into a noun. Okay. She was uh, injected, she was admitted, she was, she was, she was avoided as far as possible. That is what I'm telling. Uh, and um, okay. Followed by, so she was injected for lubrication and admitted for assessment. Admitted, no need. And you can just say followed by assessment and observation. Followed by followed by uh, okay admission followed by admission for sorry followed by admission for assessment and observations so right this is how it is there is no she here so quality almost went up okay Hyaluronic acid, H capital letter. Hyaluronic acid was injected for lubrication and uh, followed, no need and then, because we are using followed, no need and. Okay. And this was followed by admission for assessment and observations. On examination, comma, post operatively, comma, there was bruising. There was, why do you want to use there was? When you are examining bruising and fluid acclimation in the right knee, okay, was observed. Were observed. Two things are there. Were observed, okay, and pain was reported. And pain, severe pain, was reported. So she reported severe pain. Where is that she missing? There's confusion every time. So severe pain was reported, finished. On examination, post-operatively, bruising and fluid accumulation in the right knee were observed and severe pain was reported. So fine, that's very clear. Okay. Mrs. Brown was given tramadol. Okay. Uh, four times per day. Okay, today, 
comma on review okay bruising and fluid have subsided very good this okay have subsided so have subsided is present perfect okay uh, okay on review today were observed were observed you can say or were noticed or were found so uh, on review today uh, reduction or uh, read um, bruising reduction okay lessening or reduction something reduction in bruising and fluid okay okay were okay reduction in bruising was noticed was observed was noted was noted was discovered or was found noted okay today on review reduction in bruising and fluid was noted reduction in bruising and reduction in fluid was noted she is ready to go home uh, with a walking stick as backup she should ease load why again she should okay so ease easing you can make it into easing easing okay load on the knees okay or you can say uh, uh easing uh, load on the knees okay easing load on the knees by avoiding not using you can say avoiding quality 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 avoiding avoiding stairs and squatting okay easing load on the knees by avoiding stairs and squatting and weight reduction has to lose weight you can say weight reduction weight reduction weight reduction were uh, advised finished were advised i don't know how you are going to take it quality is quality okay if you can try to avoid she avoid she okay once or twice it's okay but not always okay uh additionally she should use raised toilet seat why again she should see repetition additionally okay using a a raised toilet seat and continuation continuation of tramadol and acetaminophen as prescribed uh okay so here using a raised toilet seat and continuation of tramadol and acetaminophen as prescribed as well as exercises 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 are uh, suggested suggested okay next one again she is see how many times you are using she is she is she is so that is minimizing your quality okay okay uh, no need so this one also remove the uh, next one physiotherapy physiotherapy uh, sessions are scheduled physiotherapy sessions in two weeks comma injections on january 28 and february 4th and put comma here and an appointment with the general practitioner in a month's time very good here you have written but this apostrophe should be here 
not here not here months time have been scheduled plural have been scheduled fin or are scheduled so this is how you are going to write physiotherapy sessions in two weeks times have been scheduled injections have been scheduled an appointment has been scheduled three together have been scheduled okay right very good you have written very nicely but uh, quality was reduced so i have improved uh, with the above mentioned so you can say based on the sorry there is already there based on the above mentioned above mentioned is hyphenated word one word okay uh, above mentioned above hyphen mentioned above mentioned uh, circumstances it would be appropriate so don't use this it would be appropriate okay um okay provision provision of or, or remove provision also provide also is needed not needed okay you uh, okay based on the above circumstances ongoing management okay uh, regular supervision regular supervision and ongoing management okay uh, ongoing management of uh, on regular supervision of ongoing management of um uh, mrs mrs or mr yeah mrs brown okay mrs brown mrs brown's health conditions health condition okay regular supervision and ongoing management of mrs brown's health condition would be extremely beneficial would be extremely beneficial we already know that it is post operative okay we are we are after operation only you are sending because it is post operative care it is understood so it is irrelevant here okay after operation only you are sending him her so that is it next one uh, here if you have any queries not if you have any queries you change this one to quality if you require why should he have no if you require any additional information okay if you provide all the information why he needs query so if you are not providing information he will have queries so if you require any additional information please do not hesitate to contact me okay then yours sincerely very good nurse st james hospital right uh okay fine right now let us see this is the letter corrected letter so the letter is corrected and then uh, especially when i am teaching something afterwards okay you can write in a notebook and keep them but uh, because there if anybody writes there people will be distracted so don't write anything please don't write anything in the chat box especially when i am taking lecture afterwards whatever you want you can write but not when i am teaching and my voice you can hear because everyone will be concentrating and i don't want anybody to be distracted that's the only reason okay accept format change okay right fine now what we'll do is control a okay and then we'll make it again to 12 okay except for my change okay so that is again come back to normal fine now first let us discuss with uh, this girl mm. what's the name lefisa 
Hello, Lefisa, are you there? Sir. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, sir. Okay. Did you understand what I have explained? Yes, sir. You are using too much of personalization. She, 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 she. Avoid that one because it is reducing the quality. If I say, Lefisa, you come here. Lefisa, you do this. You do this. You should not do this. No need to tell again and again. You, 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 right? Because I'm okay, only talking, that's all. So avoid because we are talking only about one person that is Mrs. Brown. You need not say she, 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 she every time. So it gives a very bad feeling, you know, of repeating personalization. What is important? She is not important in that particular sentence. That injection is see, for example, in this sentence, in this sentence, you see, she should ease load on the knees. She is not important. Easing load is important here. The action is important because everywhere she only, nobody else, not you, not I, not somebody else. So avoid using she because it is understood. Repeatedly writing she is not advised because it is diminishing the quality, diminishing the quality. So avoid using she because it becomes personalization. No, it should not be personalized. It should be specialized. Okay. Formal, make it formal, okay, more formal, not personal. Right. So, any doubts do you have, uh, Lefisa? No, I don't have any doubts. Uh, in huh? fact, I don't have any doubt regarding the correction. So, all the doubts are cleared already, right? Yes, everything is clear now. Okay, fine. I want you to. Next time onwards, follow these suggestions and use them in your writing. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Can you comment on the right uh, correction? What benefit you got here today? Yeah, the correction was very helpful, sir. Especially when it comes to not personalizing the letter, making it more special and more formal. <clears throat> and also... Um, the writing style, maybe I should, uh, I'm aware that I should write, read the case notes carefully so that I don't make a mistake. Like now I said the, the letter, it's a transfer letter while it's a discharge letter. Yes, you have to notice whether it is transfer letter or a discharge letter, correct? Yes. So, uh, yeah, you reminded me here it should be discharged, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so I forgot that one there. Thank you for reminding me because I'm also a human being. Sometimes some things uh, when going deep uh, is being discharged into your facility for ongoing care. Yeah, very good. So thank you. So because of that, I recollected that one. Otherwise, I would have missed that one. Okay. I told you in the first round, but in the second round, I told you already. So I forgot that one and I went on with just correction. Okay, fine. Very good. Anything else? Uh, so far, I don't have anything. I don't have any comment anymore. Okay, so from today onwards, every day. So you have registered only for writing, no? Yes, sir. So every day, I want your letter in uh, written format. That means the manuscript and the typed format also. Same like this. Every day, one letter you have to give me. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. And afterwards, you should message me for appointment, okay? Yes, sir. I'll do just that. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Now I'm unmuting everyone. If anybody has any questions, I think uh, everybody's got clarification. So now, Amelia, you had a doubt. Yes, Amelia. All of you, all of you can comment here. Write your feedback here. What you learned. All of you in one or two or three sentences. Write your feedback. What you learned or uh, okay any suggestions or anything which you want you can give me okay now Emilia yeah sir uh, sir yes yes can you hear me yeah of course all right all right okay uh, sir actually I'm driving for that reason I'm asking whether you can hear me or not so actually in this sir uh, it is the bilateral the diagnosis but it is mentioned in the year 2003 right yes it is not present diagnosis but yes. this is relevant to that. But at the same time, is it necessary that I need to mention the diagnosis or straight away I can write down that when she presented to me with what condition is that? Is it? Yes, the last one will be more important. That will be more uh, useful. Okay. 
Yeah, because now she is going for ongoing treatment, right, sir? Yes. So yes. for that reason, in the what, what path, is the background of ongoing treatment that you have to? So tell, actually, right? she has come with the pain in her knee, right? Yes. So is it necessary that I need to mention the diagnosis here, or straight away I can write down that this person is experiencing so-and-so pain, and for that uh, surgery has done. And, yes, uh, surgery is more important. Who oh, underwent surgery? Yes. That is more so relevant. Has, yes, sir. So do I need to mention that, or particularly I need to go that back and write important. down? That is more important. Is it necessary that I need to write down the diagnosis as well? Uh, when you did already this uh, uh, surgery was done because of the diagnosis only, no? Yes, sir. So do I need to again mention that in the because anyway I'll be mentioning that in the later part. So I have to mention in the later part, but in the introduction it is better okay. that she underwent surgery for something. Okay, for uh, bruises and uh, yes, some procedures she has undergone here. So that will be enough, right? I mean I don't need to mention yes, yes, that. Yes, is yes. it necessary Absolutely that I need to fine. mention? Yeah, absolutely fine. Yes. Okay. Because in my letter, uh, you may, you may, I mean, you may see that later part. Uh, but yeah. I did not mention the diagnosis like bilateral and all. I have just mentioned that she came on so and so date, experiencing so and so. And in the next paragraph, I have written uh, she had this condition. She was diagnosed okay. with so and so in the year so and so. So will that be sufficient or uh, necessarily? Yeah. I need to write down this one in the introduction part. No, it uh, based on the relevance you have to write. Okay. Okay, okay, if sir. Feel okay, that, sir. If you feel that it is relevant, you're right. If it, you feel that it is irrelevant, avoid it. Some things may be relevant, some things may not be relevant, okay? It is relevant only, but I have written she had diagnosed with in the later part. Uh, no, the secondary, secondary thing. No. Okay, all right. Okay? Secondary all right, issue, okay. that one. Okay, all fine. Right, okay. Uh, now, yeah, next, anybody has doubts, you can raise your hand. Yeah, Mr. Sadikur, what is your uh, uh, question? Yes, please. Mr. Sadiq Ur. Okay, you can open your mic and you can speak if you have any doubts. Yeah, anybody else? Any questions? Hello, sir. Yes, Mr. Sadiq Ur. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I am a doctor pursuing okay. for my play about OAT for the UK exams. So you yeah, are so the I, one who called me yesterday night, I think, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was same. Okay, same fine, time. fine. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the, you, you have money, you have uh, show, man, the class was over and good, sir. But actually, my doubt was man, uh, either we have to write one thing or the other, no. Man, yes. Even even if we write that she was prescribed, that she was injected, that again, again it again it's sort of repetitive type, no? Yeah, that so, is so, correct. That is correct. correct. Okay. Sense only. That is correct. But which is more uh, beneficial, you have to use that one. See, for example, there will be many uh, side heroes, but only one hero, right? Yes, sir. Do you want to be a hero or a side heroes? No, obviously, I would want that to is, be more than that a hero. That is the quality. Quality is quality. That's all. Okay. Okay. But sir, so mane, everybody has stop. has their own objective opinion, subjective opinion, na. Mane, even if we uh, uh, the person who is sitting on the uh, side of mane, who is who is gonna interview us, if if he does not mane, if he does not go with the flow that mane, okay, she was given, or uh, if he if he if he says that she was given injected, she was uh, given tramadol, she was given auto was okay, mane, that is right. Exist, mane, that is correct. right. That okay. is right, absolutely. But generally, right. yeah, but generally we need to write in passive okay, tense. One minute, mean. one minute, one minute, one minute. I'll give you one idea here. For example, the police found, uh, the police recovered the purse. The police recovered my lost purse from the thief. The police okay. recovered my lost purse from the thief. Now you are there in that situation where the purse is lost. Now are, will you give importance to the police or will you give importance to the purse or will you give importance to the thief? Tell me.
what is more important the police is sir, important to you? are the press is important to you are the thief important to you sir both sir i guess i guess both needs to be given importance actually the the thief even needs to be get fired even we need Whether to complain the against the thief so that not, it is not important getting the purse is more okay the thief is caught but your purse is not uh, recovered is that okay now obviously if we case the thief we if we interrogate the thief then uh, obviously the purse is going to recover sunday what do you want you want to catch the thief or you want to recover the purse which is more important for you i would want justice for the both the person and the thief no 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 i am asking as you one officer, thing i am asking no no as a police thing. officer i would want justice for the thief that and is even a the different thing okay, okay thief is caught okay but your purse is not recovered what will you do okay if the purse is mine i would definitely suggest that i am asking you the purse is yours yes. okay yes. so here here uh try to understand the importance thief is caught is none of your problem that is the police problem but you want your purse back that okay. is more important than anything else that is priority number 1 okay okay priority number 1 is the purse your question is very genuine okay okay the, is, the response is more important than the question okay try to follow this uh, now here priority number 1 is your purse okay so that is it so that should be given more importance in the same way here the patient is throughout the letter the doctor is throughout the letter you are also throughout the letter so other things are already important but in this particular sentence which is important that is important okay okay Every sir again again has, uh, again every sentence okay i understand has something sir something action which is very important okay 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 sir i understand but uh, but you contradict yourself only that by you 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 have asked me ask to to write that in passive tense ma she was uh, instead of writing she was given you asked us uh, to write in mane that, that the, those injections were prescribed or even those exercise were advised but in the uh, sir uh, in this in this yeah uh, yeah mane this paragraph mane which you have shown yeah the first sentence usually begins with active tense only like in last paragraph you have uh, you have said that mane mrs brown was advised or so uh, then again in 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 the starting of the paragraph she, she it usually starts with active tense so do we need to correct it even where it is active tense was admitted is passive voice so was given is passive voice problem. who told it is active voice can okay, you okay. notice no. that one was admitted by somebody okay, okay. was given by somebody see that carefully okay okay it is passive voice passive so first no. differentiate the difference between active voice and passive voice then you can understand so first see that sentence carefully i okay so study that one okay. carefully okay fine all right uh, next uh, anybody else anybody else have any doubt has any doubts raise your hands okay so here uh all of you i have one request try to learn something more which is quality everyone writes anything everyone writes anything there are 101 teachers who are giving 100 and different things and uh, see what quality they are giving and are they able to clarify your doubts if they are able to clarify your doubts then fine all right anybody else any doubts here yeah. next who is next in line whose letter is next in line yes uh grand gallery next in line is yeah yes next is smita hello smita are you yes. there yes sir Yes, Smita. Next is your letter. Have you typed the letter, please? Yes, sir. I have typed. Uh, okay, you have written written format and typed format, right? Yes, sir. Just so now I am typing, sir. I am typing it, and half of the done. And okay, then we'll wait the next turn. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, next, Preeti Bala. Preeti Bala is there. Preeti Bala. 
Okay, Preeti Bala is not there. Next is Prabjit Kaur. Are you there? Prabjit Kaur is not there. Then uh, Sitara Jetunga. Sitara? Hello, sir. Hello, Sitara. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, dear. Have you written the letter? Yes, sir, but I could. Have you type typed the letter? No, sir, I couldn't type. Okay. Did you submit in the GMC submissions? Yes, sir. It okay, was can you type the letter and come back to me? Okay, sir. Okay, okay then I'll conduct your uh, sessions both together. Then All next right, one, sir. Anila Sharat. Anila is there? Yes, sir. Anila, have you written the letter? Yes, sir. Have you typed the letter? Not yet, sir. I'll type, sir. Can you do that, please? Yes, sir. Okay, next one, Emilia. Next in line is Emilia. Emilia, unmute, please. Hello, Emilia. Unmute your phone, please. Unmute, unmute your mic. Yes, sir. But uh, I have typed as then, but uh, it takes half an hour for me to reach my home. I am driving. Okay. So, what do you want me to do now? You want me to wait or should, shall I correct it? You can correct it, sir. Yeah. I'll, okay, I'll fine, fine. Yeah. Then Jyoti Sridhar. Hello, Jyoti. Hello, Hello Jyoti. sir. Yeah, have you written the letter? Yes, sir. I've written and typed and sent it to you. Okay, typed also. So after Emilia, your letter, okay? Be ready. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, dear. I'm going to send you the next link. Okay, fine. Okay, you can write your comments there as I have suggested you. Sit now, why are you standing? Okay. Uh, right. Okay, fine. Right. So I want you to follow the points instantaneously. Okay. If you want to just pass, do whatever you want. If you want to excel, okay, follow the suggestions. Okay, every form is right, but the best. Okay, see, you can you can buy some vegetables by the side of the road, and you can buy some vegetables from the supermarket. You pay extra price and go to the supermarket and enjoy. So that is what it is. If you want quality, if you want to get excellent results, follow the suggestions. Otherwise, you are free. I'm not telling you to you. You must do these things. It is up to you. So however you want, you take it as how you feel. So it's not compulsory that you have to follow my suggestions. It is your wish, but reason and apply your logic and do if you want quality. Fine. So we are going to meet again.